Anthony Mack. As Romeo Donza takes on Ming Freeman. All right, White Pass, let's get the action going once again. Please welcome, out of the blue corner, from Irvine, California, please welcome, Rumi Oyama Adunsa. Pat Rumi Adunsa has to be the most unassuming man in all of combat sports. You can hardly get a word out of him. He goes in the ring, he takes extraordinary punishment to the point that he looks beaten to a pulp, then he comes back and knocks out a part. He's incredible, he really is. And he's so quiet. Like, <laughs> one or two word answers to everything. Just, but here he is, against Master Hong. Get it just laid into. But that big power in that right hand, we've seen him put guys away a couple different times. After dealing with a guy pounding on him for three and a half, four rounds, four and a half rounds, and then he decides to end it. And now please welcome his opponent of the red corner from North Hollywood, California. Please welcome Ming Super Paul Tremendous crowd support tonight for Ming Freeman, the three-time world taekwondo champion. We last saw him in line fight against Jason Andrade. You know, taekwondo is a great art to take before you switch to Muay Thai. The, the kick's obviously dominant in that martial art, but he's really a slick, well-rounded guy, quick, great at counters. So we'll see, though. That's the problem here, is Adanza is not an aggressive fighter. He's kind of a counter fighter also. So we'll see which guy's going to press the pace and get countered, possibly. Let's look at the top of the tape, brought to you by WarriorsAndGangsters.com. Adanza has the experience. He's also the elder. Gives up an inch in height. Gives up an inch in the arms. They're even in one reach. Our experts fight game, proud co main event. Ming Freeman with the punches, or should actually be Ming Freeman a five there on the kicks, the punches, Ming Freeman gives it up to Romeo Adanza, has the knees over Adanza, elbows are even, no doubt Romeo Adanza has the power. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Tropicana Resort Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Live Fight Promotions brings you the co-main event of the evening, scheduled for five of three minute rounds of fighting in the Phantom Weight Division. Sponsored by Beer Park Las Vegas, Access TV, and Elite Transportation. Your three judges score this bout should it go the distance. Dave Moretti, Mark Smith, and Junichiro Camillo. And the man in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Chris Tanae. Fight fans, here we go. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing five feet, five inches tall, he weighed in officially at 116.6 pounds. As a professional, his record stands 19 victories against seven defeats with one bout even. Ten of his victories come to you by way of KO. Joining us tonight from Irvine, California, the ladies and gentlemen introducing Ruby Oyama Adansa. And introducing his opponent right across the ring on the rear corner. Standing by feet six inches tall, he weighed in officially at 117 pounds even. As a professional, he enters the ring with a perfect record. Undefeated. Five wins and zero losses with one bout even. Four of his victories come to you by way of KO. Joining us tonight. From North Hollywood, California, who, ladies and gentlemen, introducing me, Super God Freeman. Once again, your 
referee in charge, Chris Tanay. Oh, no, me. Me. This should be a river. Our current main event here at Lion Park 32 between Romeo Dunza and Ming Superfly Freeman. Dunza, as always, no smile. Looks like they just dragged him out of a cave where he was eating the carcass of an animal pet. Well, he wouldn't even be introduced. <laughs> he was kind of hanging out. You know. Took the club off him and said, You've got to beat this man with your fists. Dude, he's an interesting cat, he is. He is, but my word, I'll tell you, folks. Hey. He has extraordinary knockout power. Let's see how this one goes down. And trading outside leg kicks early. The Dunza's got. An absolute corker of a right hand. Careful. Oh, that oh, go check those. I keep from a dance up, though. He from Mint Freeman. Oh, oh the turns with the elbow. Oh. He's cutting. Oh, my. He split him open with that elbow. But, yeah. Why is it not knocked down? Yeah, that was a knockdown. Why was it not a knockdown? He knocked him down with the elbow. So, a little bit of controversy there. Cutting him free man, dropping him with the elbow. No count from the referee. Told you, I told you, he's crazy powerful. His leg is getting choked up though. You can take punishment. Just when you think you've got from his number, and switches up. Freeman with a head kick and Romy just stands up to it. Well, if Muay Thai coaches tell their fighters not to grow that hair, because every time you take a punch, that body shot you can make in the solar plexus and the crevice. Every time you take a punch or kick the hair moves and it indicates to the judges you've been struck. Right. Good outside leg kick from the Dunza. Downward elbow from Min Freeman. Nice sweep back from the Dunza. Beautiful time. Great timing, yes. Right. Blood from the left eye of Min Freeman, courtesy of a beautiful elbow. Son Lee from a thumbs up. Maybe a little more offensive in this fight, my fault. I started a little quicker than usual. Freeman goes for the head kick. Oh, a big right hand from Superfly. Thumbs up try for the right cross, but backed up from a cross by Freeman. Freeman on the front foot. And Thumbs will happily brawl with him. Throws a wild uppercut. Oh, a little bit of controversy though. It was the elbow that cut Freeman a knockdown. Should have been scored as a knockdown. Absolutely. I agree. It affects the scoring. That's another bit. Check this out. Let's know your thoughts on Twitter folks on this one. Ming coming in. There's the kick. So he's controlling inside. Beautiful job. That allows that pathway to the elbow. That was it. That was a knockdown. That was a knockdown. What do you this can be? So, referee Chris Tonioni missing that one. Did you score a knockdown? That's Chabello Voice. That Pat Miletic. Ring Freeman coming with a lot of power there toward the end of the round. Adonis are willing to let him. Adonis are really not getting bothered by those punches. And looking for those elbows to continue, continue trying to slice him up. That cuts in the worst place, Pat, between the eyebrow and the eyelid of Min Freeman. Bleeding right down into the eye. 
Now Freeman did win most of the round. We're edging it to him 10 9. But if the dungeon had been paid that knockdown, we'd be in a 10 8 round. Yeah. Or 10 9, please. Nice uppercut elbow off the lead there from a Dunza. Those head kicks are not getting through on a bouncer. Only shot to a head kick, good combination from Freeman. The bouncer using feints. Down to right hand from Freeman of Beauty. He does have a great straight right. The <laughs> Downs of Air Trump time that right here coming in with hitting the level. Nice follow up with that low kick. What a beautiful angle to do it. From Freeman. And be careful though not to drift into a dunza's right. I don't know how many times we've seen a dunza look like he was getting beaten with no return point possible and then knock out opponents. Freeman smiling at him. Having fun? A little too quick for a dungeon at the moment. Beautiful jab. Jab to upper cap from Freeman. The dungeon gets done perfectly tight. Cross. It's going to be a mince round again. Go. Go. Freeman enjoying himself, but did not rule out when your thumbs up. Nobody's not got hurt yet by any of the punches that he's received. <laughs> Showing that I'm changing. Oh. But he's reaching down to grab the kicks, so just hip check him, showing the low kick and run the punch down the fight. He's seeing, just make sure you know where he's, he's loading up the right, that's all he's going to do. He's just trying to cut you with it, I'll either one. Alright, that works good. Maybe it's tough. Kalo with really good advice there. 2018 Lynn Freeman with an uncalled knockdown in the first round. Round three! Tony was dropping his hand to catch that kick. Rifle that right hand right down the middle when he drops it. Nice body kick there. Yeah. Freeman, combination work again. We might want power for its size. Corner starting to pick up the pace. Ooh, a dunza trying to catch him with that little crossing elbow as Min Sweet in. Hey, 
How many people enjoy their job more than Meg Freeman? They're smiling the whole fight, dude. Jack from Adonza. That's a right hand for company. Work again from Freeman and telescoping in the end and extending the hips in. And they're winning this round. Yes. One few things to go. Oh, talk about a heater and a body kick. is up next to the middleweight championship of the world, the blockbuster Melopec versus Joe Nutterwa. Hey, these two rounds, you got to put the output. <laughs> Nick Freeman doing a great job. Brutal body kicks. Light the legs up also. Nice job catching the kick. So he tugs on the heel and the toe. The top of the foot and the heel. Yank him into that so he can reach that leg. Also, yank him off balance. Donzo's leg is beat up. He welts on that leg. Right on, yeah. And the Donzo's yeah. find yeah. one yeah. big salvo. He was losing 30 27 on Pat's car. So, referee says not so much Vaseline. On Ming Freeman's eye, here's the difference, Michael. Um, he's referees a lot more MMA than he does Muay Thai. They don't allow a lot of Vaseline in MMA because they think it slicks up the body and makes it easier for guys to escape. Submissions. There's no submissions in this. Vaseline on the face is not a big deal. I've seen guys with Vaseline pins it on their face. Right, right. And remember, the best thing is to prevent serious lacerations, right? Indeed, and that's a very bad cap and a very bad spot for Ming Freeman. The state of Iowa does not allow Vaseline on fighters at the start of a fight in my home state, which I freaked out about. And they told me uh, it's illegal. I said, you're the athletic commission. You're supposed to protect the athletes. Vaseline's what, what prevents the cuts. They only allow the Vaseline to go on, Michael. After the fighter gets cut. <laughs> How moronic is that? Ball up a cut from Freeman. Leg kick from Adanza. Adanza's got his share of leg kicks in. He do a little bit of damage too. Beautiful leg kick from Adanza. Timed it well. See the swelling on Ming's leg a little bit there. Donzo seems to have picked up his work rights. That's a hip kick. Freeman carrying his hands very low. Good. A 
Watch a leg kick from Romeo Johns and Freeman with the right cross on the You see the swelling on the left leg, Mike. Just yeah. about the knee. Now we're seeing both men look for the knockout. Left hook from Ben Freeman. And turns will go toe to toe. He won't mind turning this into a street fight. Shot to the elbows now on the knees. Good call from the referee to break. Joined quickly by the president of Lion Fight, Scott King. Scott, bringing it back to Vegas. Love to see it. Super main event. And congratulations. You've signed a uh, big deal again with Access TV. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, uh, what a tremendous partner they've been. Uh, really taking our promotion to the next level, nationally, internationally. Uh, their association with the Fight Network is huge right. for us because we're bringing so much international talent. So, you right. know, right now we're, uh, you know, you're seeing the fruits of everybody's labor. This is a... Uh, it's an amazing card. It's great to be back home in Las Vegas. Massetti, dude, where'd you find him? Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. He's a beast for sure. Yeah. So, eight fights next to you, Scott. We've got. And this is Line Fight 32. Back in Las Vegas for the first time in a long time, and it's been a cracking card all the way. Great job, Scott. Thanks, guys. Body shot from Ming Freeman. Yeah. Did he take another blow to the eye there, Freeman? Oh, he was going to complain about back of the head stuff. His legs hurt. His oh, legs hurt. Oh, he's going to get a counter. Why is he referring to counter again? That's it. Oh, this might be over. Six. Leg kicks are adding up, dude. Hey, Romeo yeah. Downs is doing it again. Yeah. He's got a big amount of leg kicks tonight, hasn't it? Hey. Yeah, you remember uh, uh, Romeo's last fight? Yeah. Remember, he was just getting throttled and yeah. he threw the elbow and cut down in the down. Freeman dropped for the picking hit. Hannah Tons will finish it. Oh. The caveman may be on his way to victory. Got a minute 45 to do it. A long time for Freeman to survive these leg attacks. Crowd on their feet here in Las Vegas. Trying to rally support for Freeman. Who's on rubber legs? Well, we got go there. Oh, we Freeman got getting his own back there, Pat. Romy is the Muay Thai zombie, baby. <laughs> just keeps it on board. Never changes his expression. And you think that we have mine event coming up? Oh, 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 Townsend seems to have won over the audience here at the Tropicana. Tony, I, look at the swelling of Ming's left quad. It is, it is swelling hardcore. Logan, well, throw a combo and throw that low kick. I'm screaming at it if I'm his coach. Three, four more kicks to the sweet spot from Remy and Townsend should do the trick here. And Freeman, one brave warrior. Ronnie cannot afford to allow Freeman back into this with under 30 seconds remaining. Wow. Just attack the leg. Freeman's left quads have ballooned up here. Still is smiling. Oh, yeah. That's what Ronnie should have been doing for the last minute. Yeah, yeah. He may have ruined the missed opportunities not to have got a knockdown against Freeman. Fabulous co-main event, and as I was saying earlier, it has been a night of leg attacks, and still to come our main event, two of the greatest leg kickers on the planet, when Malapet and Joe Nadelman face off. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Uh, you know, both these guys, you've seen many of their fights, 
uh, topping an amazing car. You know, we, we love being at the trough. You, you guys like it here? Oh, we love it here. And I've got to say, Scott, that only someone of the talent of Joe Nutawa can come in on literally 48 hours' notice and still in most people's minds come in as a favorite here tonight. Yeah, I called him, uh, you know, I said I got an opportunity. He goes, when? I go, Friday. He goes, this Friday. And uh, he goes, yeah, I got to lose about eight pounds. Not a problem. Let's do it. And he's looking to become a two-division champion now, to become the super welterweight and the middleweight champion of the world. But Melopet, we're told, Scott, had the hardest training camp that he's had in the last decade. Yeah, I saw a lot of tape of him, and he was just focused, you know. Uh, uh, Kai Hollenbeck was his opponent. It's a fight he's wanted for a long time. Kai sustained a pretty serious injury, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Joe stepped up, so rarely do you see the ties fighting the ties. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Scott, you went eight fights lined up for next year, eight different line fight events. Can you give us a little bit of a preview of what you've got in mind? What's your imagination playing with at the moment? You know, we've got so many great fighters internationally and domestically now. You know, uh, Iman Barlow, you know, yeah. she was so exciting. She was a fan favorite. Uh, we're looking to bring back, uh, you know, I'd love to see Mr. Rossetti fight. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. That was the discovery of You know, that's the thing, though. You've done a great job of bringing in international fighters, the true world-class fighters, to help the American fighters get the experience and become world-class, right? No, absolutely. You know, I think it's really important, you know, is... You know, our, our whole business plan was to bring in the, the best international talent. Let's give our, look at Travis Clay. Yeah. I mean, you look at this guy and you wouldn't think he's as, as imposing as he is. He's a schoolboy. Julio Pena, he walked through the fighter tonight, and uh, Marvin Madrialga is a beast. Yeah, right. And he just walked right through it. Yeah, yeah. So. Scott, it's great to be back in Las Vegas. Thank you for bringing us the greatest striking sport on the planet. Time and time again, we love Lion Fight, right. and we look forward to that main event tonight and working with you for the next several years. Looking forward to it, guys. Thanks again for all your support. Beautiful. 10-8 final round to a Dunza, said Pat Milicic. How did you score it, folks? Let us know on Twitter. At Chevelle Voice, at Pat Milicic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Tropicana Resort Casino, to the judges' scorecards we go, but first, a big round of applause for both of these warriors. Here are your judges' totals. Dave Moretti sees about 49 to 46. Well, Mark Smith and Junichiro Camillo both see about 47 to 47, declaring this bout a majority draw. So the judges finding it far too close. We've got a draw here, Pat. There were a lot of close rounds in there, Michael. Really a fight they could have gone either way. We had the edge going to Ming Freeman. You can't really argue too much against the draw. Not it spells though, Pat. Rematch. Oh, I love that. Rematch for 2017. Coming up next, the blockbuster. How about this? Never thought we'd see it. Smoking Joe Nettle the super welterweight champion, takes on Malapet for the middleweight world title when we return. <laughs>